His breath stinks. I what can I say? I got my man <laughs> buying home decor. I'm you. I won't never come to Ikea until I met you. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. When I put the camera down, baby, I'm clocked out. What would you do without me? Hey, got both of our receipts. This one, babe, to hold it. <laughs> Cranberry juice. I forgot I bought this. something like a Sunday reset Sunday restock something like that today is actually Sunday um, I had already cleaned up I'm not gonna show y'all that I just feel like that's repetitive and when I'm recording it usually takes a lot longer because you are trying to get the angle for here and there you know to make it look cute and stuff and I ain't really had time for that today I am um, getting over COVID so if you're new here hey girl my name is Akira Janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave um, I had COVID last week if you guys watch my travel vlog to cali i kind of explained a little bit into that so me and my boyfriend are about to go pick up my grocery order from sam's club it's just five items and i do need to go inside of walmart to get like some butter juice little stuff like that um and then i'll talk back to y'all when we get to sam's club just wanted to introduce the vlog um just feel like vlogging haven't talked to y'all in a minute so i'll talk to y'all when we get back or when we get to sam's club So we went to Walmart and Sam's Club. This is just a quick little restock to get me through the next few days. And then we're gonna do like a full grocery shopping and a full household item restock. <clears throat> so from Walmart, I got some mozzarella cheese. Got a thing of 2% milk. I got almond milk, but when I cook macaroni and stuff, the almond milk, it just kind of throws it off a little bit. So I like to have a little bit of regular 2%. And then this is my favorite cheese. Y'all know I love this cheese really good protein and everything so yeah love that and then the last two things i got for walmart is some more cranberry juice apple cranberry needed some more butter really really bad and from sam's club i got a variety pack of cranberry juice i forgot i bought this so i really didn't need to get this juice but i'll be going through juice and drinks in general quick so it's all good <clears throat> and then the little to-go ones, I like to take those with me on the go somewhere. I got a big thing of heavy whipping cream. Um, my last one, I didn't even finish this one. So this time, I'm going to try to cook like a lot of pastas and just do a lot more with my heavy whipping cream because last time I left about this much in there and that much went to waste because I had to throw it away. And then y'all know... Oops. Sam's Club, I like to get a lot of already pre-made foods there. It's just easier for meal prepping and me trying to figure out what I want to eat. So, me and Bay, the last time we went, we had got these ribs and they were actually really good. I think I showed y'all these before. They're the um, they're called Ribs Rotisserie Baby Bag, $12.98. It's the same price every time, 19 grams of protein, 300 calories, and they look amazing. Look at how good those look. So good. Yeah, got those ribs. I'll probably eat these tonight. Um, because I cook some chicken, but I kind of want some ribs and I'll just cook me some like macaroni mashed potatoes or something. And speaking of macaroni, y'all know I got to keep that on deck. I literally was completely out. I had to make baked macaroni last night, which I like baked macaroni, but I don't know. I just like the Velveeta shells a lot better. So when I do got to cook baked macaroni, I'll cook it. But if I don't got to, I'll just really have this. So I got an eight pack. That was like $14 or something. And then the last thing I got from Sam's was some bacon. Um, I haven't been eating breakfast these past four to five days because I don't have any breakfast food and bacon is the staple in my breakfast. So I eat like three to four pieces of bacon each morning. Um, this is their thick cut bacon. It's not as thick as I would like. I do like the bacon from Walmart, the um, right bread, or some bacon from <laughs> Kroger's. Um, that's all like really fresh from Kroger's. So yeah, this will do. Um, so I'm gonna finish doing laundry. I hear my washer and dryer stop, so I need to redo that, reload it, and I just gotta sweep and mop. And I'll be done for today. It is 1.57. I got done cleaning before I left to go get this. I do need to eat because I'm starving. And then we're just gonna chill and watch our show. I don't know if y'all seen on Netflix, 
the worst roommate ever it is a really 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 good show um not gonna lie many shows do not scare me like crime stuff uh, like criminal minds or like anything none of that scares me but this one i don't know i think it's because like the music they be playing or i don't know it just kind of freaks me out if i watch it at night so that's why i'm glad that we watch it watch it you know now during the daytime and stuff in here so yeah that's what we're gonna do i did make my couch into a square finally how long i had this couch two months two three months about like three maybe four months going on and if y'all saw when we went to go look at it, they had the gray couch in a square. So I finally decided to put my couch in a square. I laid in it yesterday for hours and it feels amazing. So I'm probably gonna keep it like this all week. I do need to scoot this rug over though because that's gonna drive me insane. So I probably scoot this rug over today and then I need to find out what I need to do with my coffee table. Um, because it's just, if I put it in the front, it'll be in the way. So I'll probably just, put it on the side or something or put it in one of my extra rooms. Today is July 9th. It is 1.45 in the evening. I did go to the gym today. I got there at about a little bit before 11.30. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you kind of been seeing what I've been doing kind of my day to day. Um, I don't really post every day anymore. I've just been just taking a well needed break again. <laughs> um, and then y'all know I had got sick with COVID and stuff like that. And then I went on a trip. So follow my Instagram, it's underscore Akira with three A's at the end. Um, but yeah, you can keep up with my, you know, day-to-day -day life. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a little haul for y'all. I went to the gym today, and then on my way back, I was like, you know what? I'm literally out of toothpaste. Um, I got a little bit of toothpaste left, but it's from, like, the toothpaste that I took from my job. <laughs> um, you know, we, I work in healthcare, so we can, we provide every type of hygiene item that, you know, most people need. So, I have some leftover toothpaste. I keep one in my little travel case because y'all know I got Invisalign, so I gotta brush my teeth constantly. So, I'm like, you know what, let me just stop and go get some toothpaste. So, I got a two pack of that. And then while I was in, I'm like, you know what, let me just go ahead and grab Chris another bag of food and just a little knickknacks that I need. I ran out of pepper, so I'm like, you know what, let me go buy some more pepper. I can't eat nothing without no pepper. So I got pepper and then I got the one with the um, pink Himalayan salt. I kind of like that a little bit better rather than just regular salt. So I decided to get that. And then I got some more all-purpose all flour and sugar because the one that I got in my fridge, well, not my fridge, but the one that's in here, I got two of these from the Dollar Tree, this little container. I really don't remember when I put this in here. Like, I've had this since my last apartment. In my last apartment, I moved in there, I think in like 2022, yeah, cause then I moved out last year, cause I'm here, yeah. So I had it since like 2022-ish, 2023-ish, and I'm like, you know what? I didn't put no expiration date on the here, so we're just gonna dump all of this flour and sugar out, and then we're just gonna start over, because the sugar says this is good until 2025. And I'm like, hmm, no, this is the flower. And I'm like, hmm, I've had that flower for more than a year. So pretty sure that, oh, the sugar is good until 2026. So I feel much better about that sugar that's in there, but we're just gonna completely wipe it out and put in some new stuff and I can actually put the dates on there. Y'all know I got that little bitty new label printer, so I'm gonna use that. <clears throat> and then friends, y'all know I switched him to Fresh Pet rather than Farmer's Dog because it's cheaper in the long run. I got the chicken recipe and then I got the beef and eggs. I like to feed him this one in the morning since it got eggs in it. And then I feed him this one at night. So got him that. His breath stinks. I do need to do a better job at being um, a good parent and brush his teeth all the time. <laughs> so I got this. I used to always um, put this in his water. It's just the fresh dental um, teeth cleaning water additive. So just add this to their water and then it kind of makes the breath smell a little bit better. So. Got that, got some apples, got some pizza that I didn't need. Guilty pleasure. Um, I got some more honey wheat bread, hot dogs. I love my chips mix. Y'all know I'm trying to have healthier snacks. And then I just got this, some vanilla extract. I got an onion. I got two things of 
collard greens. Walmart collard greens actually looked really good today, as you can see. So I went up in there and I'm like, girl, you know what? I've been craving some collard greens. Y'all know this is my favorite vegetable. So I went ahead and got two of those. They was like $1.24. Got an onion and then I decided to go ahead and get a 10 pound of potatoes because I have like one potato left. And the stuff that I have, I've been, y'all know, potatoes, that's my favorite side, along with macaroni. So, I can eat potatoes in every which way of form, potato wedge, mashed potatoes, smothered potatoes, um, scalloped potatoes, like, potatoes, potatoes. So, I just went ahead and got the big bag because I eat them on a daily. Um, and I can do, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Got another thing of chicken. I got ground beef. And then the last thing that I got are these. Comment down below if you had these or where you like to get your um shredded hash brown potatoes from i love going to waffle house and getting that the hash browns because it's just so good um so i'm going to try these out in the morning and see how i like them i really want hash browns in the morning um i tried the actual hash browns like the great value kind of think i think i I think I threw them out, but I had those, and they honestly had no flavor to them. Like, even sprinkling a little bit of salt and stuff on there, they were just disgusting. So, I would just rather not. I could blame it on a physical. I could blame it on your lips, your touch, your kiss, you know, real traditional. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> July 10th, 10, 12 in the morning. Um, I got up at like, nine, I got up at eight, then lay back down, was sitting in the bed. And then anyways, I'm up now. That don't even matter. I'm about to take out my Invisalign and, um, clean it in my little cleaning solution. <clears throat> this is what I use. I bought it from Amazon. It should be linked in my Amazon storefront, hopefully. Um, if not, sorry, I'll try to link it. That's what I use. Drop one tablet in some water. <laughs> and then you let that sit for, I think like 15 minutes. I haven't been doing a good job at keeping track of how long I've been having my Invisalign out. I'm um, not going to lie because sometimes I'll have it out for like three or four hours a day, which is not good. And that's definitely affected me. Um, my bottom tray is the right tray that I'm supposed to be on. The top tray is like a week overdue, so I was supposed to switch that out literally on the 1st. <clears throat> of July uh, but that's like when I got back from Cali and stuff because I changed the bottom one a little late as well so I need to really switch to the new one today on the top tray I just got back from the gym and going to five below I had a good workout I didn't take y'all which I could have because I'm on this little bitty camera it's, and it wasn't really nobody in there, you can see, this small little camera. But I didn't take y'all because I just had to try to get up in there and get out because I do have to go to my boyfriend's house today. Um, tomorrow we're going to go to Ikea and the casino and stuff like that. So basically tomorrow we're just going to be in Memphis. And it's already Wednesday and I haven't really did anything content related that I wanted to do. So I don't work until I think next Thursday. So basically I got a week. Uh, while I'm at his house, I'm going to respond back to emails and like on the ride there to Memphis and stuff like in the car. Um, I plan to respond to emails. I'm going to make a little to-do list. And then I do need to figure out the videos that I would like to record like this weekend and or next week. Um, that's between YouTube and TikTok. I have a little notebook that I like to write down all my ideas and stuff in. But basically, since I got the ideas written down, I need to basically plan the days that I, you know, want to record whatever type of, you know, video it is so from five below um i didn't get these these are my water bottles that i be taking to the gym that i be leaving in my car and forgot to bring back in and then i have a car full of water bottles so obviously it was five dollars so my total was 5.43 don't forget because i almost did to scan your receipts y'all know me a lot of y'all signed up with my code and stuff and i see a lot of y'all <coughs> actually using it and stuff comment down below if you got a um gift card yet i can get another gift card but i kind of want to wait so i can get two fifty dollar gift cards so we're going to go ahead and scan this receipt and every receipt gives you like 25 points and then you can get up to like thousands of points depending on what you buy from the certain stores and stuff so i got 25 points right there my code is always linked down in the description box below if you want to scan my code right here i'll 
put it on there. Basically, you'll get a thousand and I'll get a thousand. And then I got a lot of y'all that actually signed up and stuff. Y'all got a thousand points, like literally a ton of y'all. <laughs> so thank you guys. Helps me out and help you out. All right, anyways, for five below, I got this little bitty foam, um, deep tissue foam roller, high density texture for deep massage, strong hollow core, maintains roller shape. I decided to get this because I had a personal, I had two different personal trainers. Um, I had this one guy, I went to him like twice. Um, and he said literally every time before we start a workout, he want us to like roll on a foam roller or whatever. So I really like that. Um, at first I was like, Ugh, I don't want to do that. That's annoying, you know, whatever. And it hurts, but it hurts and feels so good at the same time. So when I would work out here in my apartment complex, they had some of these and I used it a few times and it, it feels so good. Since I just started back working out and I am trying to work out four to, well, really five times a week, four to five times if I start working um but yeah and my body is sore like i'm doing three lower body days two upper body days it's a hit workout on my lower body days like my body is going through a lot right now so i'm like i need a foam roller they only had the small ones um but the lady that i watch on youtube she showed a tutorial of how to like actually use these and like target the right spots of your body and she actually used the small ones so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and get it it's five dollars from five below all the other ones are like 15 20 30 40 dollars whatever so i mean for right now this will be fine um but yeah i really needed this um so I got that. I'm about to use that right now. I'm about to make my smoothie. I wanted to show y'all how I made my smoothie yesterday, but I went to go walk Prince, came back in, and it was a gnat sitting in my smoothie. <laughs> so I had to pour it out. Girl, I was so pissed. So um, before I go to my boyfriend's house, I'm not going to go to his house to probably like five o'clock because I do want to stay here and take Prince outside. And then I'm going to come back in the morning before we head to Memphis and like take him out, do that. You know, it's kind of like me going to work. I go to work, I leave the house at 6 o'clock, and then I come back at 7 in the morning. So it's it's the same thing. So that's why I'm not going to leave till about like 5, 30, 6 o'clock. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish straightening up my house. I kind of made a mess yesterday doing stuff. Um, I'm going to eat, make my smoothie, I'm going to shower. And um, yeah, by the time I do all that, it's already 109. It should be, you know, about 5, 6 o'clock. And then I'm going to roll out on this. I'm not going to use this until I get out the shower because I do want to use this while I'm, you know, clean. I don't want to use it while I'm <coughs> got the gym germs and stuff or whatever on me <laughs> and sweating and hot. All right. It feels good, too. I was going to get the, they had a bigger, more like a cylinder one that was really big and foamy. But I'm like, I think that may wear and tear a little bit faster than this one because that other one was just like a kind of like styrofoam if you will just a heavy duty styrofoam and this one feels a lot better and i like the bumps and grooves and stuff in it so i'm gonna stop talking so this is everything that i put in my smoothie <laughs> um, my protein powder sometimes changes but for the most part this is always what I put in my smoothie I do strawberries I do almond milk I add this boost in there this is a lot of calories and a lot of protein my favorite protein right now is this ghost protein it's a really good protein it's 25 grams of protein with 160 calories and then I also add in my El Glutamine I also have creatine but I don't want to add it in right now because I haven't been drinking enough water and you got to basically drink water 24 7 with that so and i'm about to just finish up these strawberries i know they had got like a recall or something or whatever but i only got a few left so i mean i've been eating them this long so hell <laughs> and then i'll go to whole foods or something and give me some more strawberries but i like to buy this boost very high calorie from amazon um it's 530 calories 22 grams of protein that's easy putting these two together alone well all of this together is like 48 uh grams of protein and then it's about like 780 something calories so i'll show you how i log it as well and then this is my little blender and first what i like to do shake this up a little bit I like to add in the liquid first i'm gonna do one full scoop of this it tastes really good Tastes just like Chips Ahoy. Looks like that. And it got little chocolate chip pieces inside it as well. Basically, I'm using this for like um, gut health and bloating and stuff. I also have Bloom, but I got a, like a strawberry kiwi flavor. And I don't want to put that in here and like disrupt my flavor. So I will try to drink that in the morning with like cranberry juice mixed in with it. I usually put about one third cup of milk in here. Eyeball it. I used to measure it out completely, but I just eyeball it out. And then we're going to add in the strawberries. Oh. 
then I fill it all the way up to the top and I'm just gonna drink this with my lunch. Um, my lunch, I'm having my leftovers, macaroni, chicken, and potatoes. Um, I used to not be able to drink it with like whatever I'm eating or whatever, but I'd be so thirsty and stuff at the gym and tired that I just start, you know. So I don't drink it too fast because it is very thick, but I just got done cleaning and just left the gym. And usually, a lot of y'all always ask, like, how do I, like, how's your appetite? How are you able to eat, like, 3,000 calories and, the you know, just everything? It's literally the gym, working out, staying active. And I also take a sleeping pill. And my sleeping pill, it also has a, um, one of the side effects. It's, like, making me hungry. So that also helps as well. But before the sleeping pill, I really would just work out and make me so hungry. So this is my little calendar that I made. Um, this is something I like to do to keep me organized with working out and everything. And then over here, what I was talking about, this is my little booklet with all of my YouTube ideas. This is all my content ideas in there. And then for the month, I will bring out some of the ideas out of here and put it on this board and write down what I want to do for TikTok, Reels, YouTube, incoming collabs, my collabs. Obviously, I ain't updated this since November, so I've been doing really, really bad. But I did want to go ahead and show y'all this one. I'm about to go ahead and mark off today. So today is Wednesday. It was glutes. So we're going to go ahead and mark that off. That was an ugly line, but it's okay. And basically, my program is eight weeks program. I talked to y'all about it before. Um, it's working out Monday through Friday. It's an eight week program. So by the time my birthday comes on August 1st, I will be on week four and almost done with week four and that is halfway there. So I said, keep going You're halfway there. Um, so yeah, I feel like that'll make me feel really, really good about myself for my birthday, especially because when I first started this um, routine workout program like a month and a half ago, two months ago, I made it through the first two weeks. And then on the third week at the beginning of the week, I just did a before and after just for, um, I was going to say the S word, but <laughs> S-H-I-T and giggles, <laughs> that saying. Um, and literally, it looks so good. If I remember, I would put it in right now. Um, my back rolls and everything, gone. Like, it looks amazing. So I cannot wait to get to my birthday, week four. That's halfway through the program. And then week six. And what I did was wrote out my waist glutes and how much I weighed. So my goal is to be 160, waist about 29, 30 inches, glutes to be about 41 to 42. Just trying to be more realistic because, I mean, it's only eight weeks. My waist right now is 32, glutes 38 and a half, and I weighed 38.8 on sunday july 7th so each week on sunday on um, my rest days i'm going to check in in the morning before i eat and everything like that so i can really get an actual weight it's just like when we're at um and when i'm at my job i'm in my bunny because i'm about to get in the shower finally um we weigh our patients we like the women like five in the morning that's just standard so whenever i wake up on sundays sunday morning before i eat anything i'm going to try not to eat late saturday night so that i can get an accurate weight on sunday morning so yeah just wanted to show y'all that um this seeing this every day definitely gets me more excited um and to just really you know gear up and i also like to write out the days that i go to work <clears throat> i also like to write out the days that i go to work so that i know like okay well i go to work this day so you know this day i'm gonna have to go in the morning this day I don't know, I'm either gonna not go that day if I'm too tired, and then my rest day that was supposed to be Saturday, I will end up working out on Saturday instead of Friday. You know, just kind of switching stuff like that, kind of just to give me an overall view of how my week is gonna go. And luckily, the rest of my work weeks is gonna be like on Saturdays. I got PTO that week, PTO that week, that's my birthday. Hey, quiet. And then, like, I work at the beginning of the week. So, I feel like this going around, I would definitely be more consistent with doing that. I've been drinking my smoothie every day. Like, I've just been doing the dang thing, girl. Like, I've been doing it. Trying to get back into routine. Trying to stay disciplined. I saw this video on TikTok. I'll probably insert it if I can find it. But let me turn my shower off before it get cold. Because I'm talking a lot. Um, the video, it was this, I, it was some man. And basically, he was just like... If I can find it, I think I favored it. So I'll put it up here. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for it. But he was basically just saying like, you want your life. What I took from it was you want your life to look different or be different. And you know, you're like, I don't know. Basically you, look, you want your life to be different, but you're still 
staying stagnant like you're not changing anything and I was reading through the comments and one girl was just like oh you just made me like get up and just start cleaning my room and everything like you need to look at your environment if you are in just junk all day messiness like that's what's going to come to you like no nothing better is going to come to you and then you want you wonder why you know you're not I don't know how to really explain it like that's just what I took from it. So it's like, I'm trying to go to the gym, drink my water, get my smoothie, go to the gym five times a week, Monday through Friday, or, you know, on the week, whatever, five times a week, um, get on my content, like just have a schedule because it's like, y'all know how I was talking about this one creator who literally just blew up <laughs> like a hundred K crazy, like crazy quick. And it's just like, I took that because like, that's me too. Like I'm looking at it and I'm sitting down on the couch watching, you know, watching videos and stuff. And it's like, I need to be creating my content. Like I need to be doing that. So that video definitely stuck with me. I seen it like a few days ago and literally that's just been not even motivation because I always got motivation. That's just been my discipline to get up and do what I really want to do and what I see other people doing that is like dang like that's what I want to do so like why are you holding back if that's what you want to do get up and do it you know so that's just how I feel and that's what I've been doing um making sure to keep my house clean like made my bed well I always make my bed when I get up out of that um completely cleaned the kitchen everything's clean after I, I just got done eating so before I go to my boyfriend's house I'm gonna put you know all of this stuff back up I take out the trash you know all of that just keep things looking tip top shape, wash all the dishes and all of that. And sometimes, not gonna lie, like I'll leave dishes in there for like a day or two <laughs> and like in the sink, like, you know, like a fork or something like that instead of, or just putting in the dishwasher and I start in the dishwasher. You know, just little stuff like that throughout your day definitely makes a huge difference. And especially with me going to the gym in the mornings, it definitely makes my day 10 times better. I feel good about myself i feel good mentally and physically so i've just been trying to practice doing what i was wishing i could do and i'm actually doing it you know so that's why when i go to my boyfriend's house i'm gonna plan out my content and my content and stuff like that and i know i haven't posted i think i've been posting a video in like 15 days or so um but y'all know that was because travel covid all of that um but yeah i'm trying i'm trying to do better getting back into routine slowly but surely and sticking with it this time because this isn't something that I just want to like do I want to go I want to look good for my birthday I want to look good for this cruise I'm going on you know stuff like that but I also want this to be come a lifestyle for me like I don't know if I'll be going to the gym five times a day <laughs> for the rest of my life but for sure three to four times a week well not a day not five times a day five times a week but for sure three to four times a week that's what I want to do and it's just like I don't know like your life can just change within a blink of an eye like this one girl that i follow she's a fitness girl i know i'm talking a lot but this has been my mind um you know all the fitness girlies they usually become gym strike affiliates and brand ambassadors any type of fitness stuff they're like brand ambassadors for and it's like somebody like me who just fell in love with working out and stuff and now she's getting flown out to you know the uk wherever gym strike be flying everybody out to and like her life changed within like a year year and a half two years and it's just like if you put your mind to it, I'm speaking to myself and you, <laughs> just put your mind to it. Like you, you never know what can happen, especially me when I really started to take YouTube seriously. I'm, I'm getting all these collect, like I'm getting so much stuff just from recording myself at home, you know, just, just talking to y'all, vlogging my life, my experience with things and all of that. Like my whole house today there is, you know, from YouTube collabs or YouTube income or something like that. So it's like, I know what this industry and this lifestyle can bring to me and to others. So it's just like, just do it, just do it. And I know I'm in my bunny, so <laughs> don't mind me. But girl, I don't know, that's just in my heart. Um, so yeah, I need to take my own advice and continue taking my own advice. And yeah, we about to we about to get to it, get to this money. And not even just about the money part. It's just I definitely want to be financially free, yes, but I also want to be able to have the freedom to do what I want to do. Um, and that's what I like. Like how I haven't been to work. When I go back to work, it'll be like 25 days since I've been at work. So dang near a month. It's been feeling really, really good not to mentally and physically get dragged to hell at work <laughs> because I'm there for 12 hours and you know, just taking, just taking care of patients and all of this. And sometimes most of them cannot do for themselves. So it is a lot on my little bitty body. So 
just mentally being away from that environment just made me feel so much better. Don't get me wrong. I love having people. I love my job. It's just it begins to be a lot if you just constantly stay with it. So that's why also I'm not going to be a nurse. Not going back to nurse school. I went twice before. It's just not for me. If I do become a nurse, I will have to work at a clinic. So we're just going to get that out of the way. I, I'm going to go back to school for something else next year. But that's a whole other story. But it's just like then that's just something to fall back on like to have like a like to be licensed with the state with something but i know what content and being a youth like just whatever how far it can take you it is literally limitless so that's why i'm like i'm really about to buckle down and get even more serious with it i've been serious but it's like i'm about to get more disciplined with it i just don't have discipline and that's my word last year was consistency i feel like i got the consistency down it's just i'm not disciplined enough for it you know like you can't have consistency without discipline so it's like i got the consistency i'd be recording and everything for y'all it's just i'm not disciplined enough to just sit down edit sit here sit at the computer do this do that you know so that's just what i've been trying to figure out <laughs> and I know a lot of people y'all say like whenever y'all record y'all will like edit that same day and stuff like that when I put the camera down baby I'm clocked out you know like this is a job <laughs> I'm clocked out so some instances I'll do that and you know it just depends and after I'm done recording I'm done recording I like to have dedicated editing days because I personally get more done that way so yeah I've been talking for 11 minutes unintentionally I'm sorry but that's just been on my mind I, I just I had to tell y'all so I'm about to get in the shower. Sometimes I'll be, I know I said I'm not talking, but this last thing. Sometimes I'll be like, you know, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Then I get up the next day and literally what I was, what I put off only would have took like two minutes. If that, like, <laughs> I don't know why I always do that. So now I'm just trying to <laughs> make myself and put into my brain, like, just get up and do it. So you don't got to do it tomorrow. Like, just get up. That, that, that's that's my motto this year girl just get up like just get up get up so yeah thank you for coming to my TED talk talk to y'all tomorrow because i'm not i'm not running my map no more today i'll see y'all when we in memphis at ikea <laughs> Go front and center. What did you need? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> 129, eight pack. Yep, it's perfect. So we are at IKEA, and before we actually pick up his few items, we like to walk the store, look at the showrooms, and get other stuff. We got some stuff in our basket right now. So, yeah, just walking around looking at all the shindigs that they have. The bigger than Prince. <laughs> they, I don't know, they probably should just look old. You know? They got that old touch to it. I remember we came here a couple months ago, a lot of months ago actually, and got this Hobbit or Hobbit mirror. It's on sale for $129.99 and I use my Fetch Rewards app that I be telling y'all about. Every time I scan my receipts, um, I had got a $50 gift card and since I got a $50 gift card, my total is only like $90. So definitely use my little code or whatever that I put on earlier to scan and get some points and start using it y'all so y'all can get $50 gift cards like me. <laughs> We're here looking at mirrors. You want that one? Where you gonna put that? <laughs> like your little own dressing room type thing. Put your little watch down here. First off, this should be five dollars. Why is this fourteen ninety nine? That's why I I want something like this or like a little skinny mirror. Mm -hmm. I want the shelf. What I'm thinking is the shelf on top. My hat's on the shelf. The towel is beside it. The shoes or whatever I want to put right there beside it. Mm -hmm. Some type of little small mirror underneath. Okay. Like and this going to be on the wall with your big mirror at right now? Or yeah. what? Okay. 
And this is the other mirror that he likes, you guys. This is 219, that's the name. It's real cute, it's kind of like mine. It's just a little bit smaller. And then it got like this big wide border frame on it right here. It's huge. This mirror, I will get, I will hang on my, cause I can do that. I will take a down the picture that I got and that will raise up the picture that's there now. And have this on the wall right here. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. That specifically, though. Yeah, I know. And then I'll just take the We one. don't need no more mirrors in the house, but we're going to buy just, mirrors. And I'll, just take, <laughs> and I'll just take the one I got over the entryway, take that down, and um, put that where? You could use that for your little yeah. setup that you're trying to do. Yeah. And then you can turn that mirror horizontally or vertical. I'm saying. Vertical, I got you. <laughs> I'm doing vertical but saying horizontal. That's why I need to turn it horizontal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, vertical, yeah. That's kind of the same, too. The smaller border is smaller, though. So yeah, yeah, but I'm, I ain't hanging it. You know, you can, I mean, I can do it. You can do it low like that. Like, it's just barely off the ground. Like, put it leaning on the baseboard. Too much. <laughs> We're almost out. We're about to get to oh, the no. plants now. We're low really, key. really close. Low key. I'm gonna put back everything else I've got in the body's mirror. No. <laughs> no. Come on. Let's uh, let's go. Okay. Bro. Bad. Bad. Okay. <laughs> bad. Uh, okay. We're not doing that. Uh, yeah, I just have to wait to get online. And we come back for that. Cause you got curtains. You yeah. And then we gotta get your other stuff that's gonna take up the back. As well, you yeah. gonna yeah. put that in the back? Right, right, yeah. Right, 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 right. See, see. Right, right. This is why I bring you. Right. Yeah, yeah. What would you do without me? Ain't no telling. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no telling. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, is that? No, that ain't four ninety nine. What is this? Seven ninety nine. Is that correct or no? It's in my pocket. Purse. Yeah, purse. <laughs> Lord Jesus, Akira. Oh, I need small pompous foot. No, but we didn't pass that a lot. Huh? We didn't pass that a lot. Oh, shit. I think that is. Oh, that's a different one, yeah. It's a different Is that from Ikea, though? Yeah. Oh. Well, why you didn't just type it in and then look at the bin? Just don't be out all of the way. way, like the other one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still the same concept. Uh, well, the other one I was going to use to like hold my controller or something. Oh. This one be able to hold it. <laughs> we loaded down, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is our biggest IKEA, uh, IKEA trip, right? Man, I don't know. One mirror took up my whole table. Yeah, but that was one mirror. Yeah. I'm saying, like, stuff wise. Stuff wise? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we ain't never had this much stuff. Me, me personally, I ain't never had <laughs> I got the one I time. I blame you. I would never come to Ikea until I met you. Yeah, no, that's what Janae said. She said, you done got light skin out here being a shopaholic <laughs> and buying all this stuff. I said, hey, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? I got my man <laughs> buying home decor. <laughs> here, you can roll it right there and then just pull your truck up. What can I say? I got my man buying home decor. It's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight to see. Period. 
Y'all yeah, man about home decor. Mm, think not. Oh, 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 oh. You know they things roll. <laughs> and I gotta go pee. So I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> um, not too much pissy. <laughs> he the one that always gotta pee. And I'm mad because obviously I'm wearing all black. So I should have brought my black frames. I just feel like when I'm wearing mostly black, it just puts the look together and it makes my outfit look so much better. But yeah, y'all. This is our biggest IKEA trip yet. Like, for real, for real. Killing me. Is this the one? Hello, I should have had it rolling. Hey, y'all. So it's much later in the day. It is 9.32. I just got done cooking. Um, been a little struggle. We, you know, we, we, we gotta get our mans right to make sure <laughs> they got everything they need in the house. But we got it here. He is right there. He got a big juicy steak. And then <laughs> I got me a Sprite. And yeah, we gonna eat up. I'm mad that I didn't pull out my camera because y'all know I love me some Gordon Ramsay and everything. And you know, with the Hell's Kitchen, with the Whoop. I love Next Level Chef, all his shows. So he was acting like <laughs> I was on the show of Next Level Chef. It's hot. And I just got done cooking too, so I'm real hot. <laughs> He acted like he was on Next Level Chef, so I had to plate myself and present my dish to him. Or whatever. I got your salt and pepper stuff right there, too. Lord, thank you for the food that we're about to receive. You already ate, Dean. Yup. That we're about to receive. That's <laughs> that you bless it and let it finish through our body. Jesus' name, pray, man. Amen. <laughs> I'm definitely burning the hell up. Hiding that kitchen, man. Yeah, flaming over the stove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just flaving over the <laughs> building. <laughs> All right, we're about to eat. We already eat. And finish eating and get back with y'all. Um, maybe after we get done putting up all of his stuff. Oh,